Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Manchuk, pastor at Century United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We are uh, in the middle of uh, the, well, not quite in the middle of the first week, but we are in uh, the first week of January, a new year. Again, if, uh, uh, if this is your first time with us, uh, happy new year. We are looking at the who and why questions of our uh, of, uh, of life and who we are and why we are, are very much connected. I'd like to read the scripture from this past Sunday. It comes from Paul's letter to the, uh, to the Ephesians, the third chapter, the first 12 verses. And Paul are, is writing these words as an apostle called by Christ to be an apostle to the Gentiles, the non-Jewish uh, world. And uh, he is writing from uh, prison in Ephesus. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given for me, given me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I wrote above in a few words, a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind as it was now as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers in the promise of Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given me by the working of the powers. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ and to make everyone see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things so that through the church, the wisdom of God in its rich variety may now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that has been carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. <clears throat> May God add a, a blessing to the reading and hearing of that holy word. So we considered yesterday, who are you? And I encourage you not only to consider, you know, your your own identity, like who am I, but uh, who am I not? What are groups that I do not want to be a part of? What are some identities that I do not embrace? Who are you? Now, today, I want you to, to consider the second question uh, of this message, or actually, is why am I? Why am I here? Why do you exist? And you know, what is your purpose? The why we are question is connected to our purpose in life, and, and we should... Uh, once again, introduce the idea of our religious faith. How does your religious faith answer this why I am question? Why do I exist? Well, I happen to believe that we exist because we are called to love one another with the love of Christ, that we are to connect with God uh, in the best possible ways uh, and therefore connect with others, that we may change our lives and transform the world for, for God's greatest purposes on earth. Uh, we are um, to recognize that we have gifts and graces that are give, given to us that may begin to answer the why I am question. For example, if, if you're a, a, a talented um, orator, a uh, speaker, then maybe you are called to speak out for Christ, to, to, to make him known to other people. If you're a great musician, maybe you should use that gift uh, in worship and praise of our, our loving creator. If you are a person who is good at uh, uh, networking and getting people in the right places in terms of their full potential as human beings, maybe you should be in leadership in the church, be a part of a, a committee that is uh, trying to work uh, toward making the uh, earth more like uh, heaven. Uh, you know, we pray that every week. Uh, may it be so on earth as it is in heaven. And so what is your why? 
it's hard to work on who you are. And this whole conversation started with uh, the thought of why we make uh, New Year's resolutions. If you're gonna make a New Year's resolution, you have to know who you are, but you also have to know why you are. For what purpose were you put on this earth? It's a great question to, to contemplate and to answer. And I hope you'll take some time today to consider why you are, not just who you are, but why you are. What do you believe God wants uh, your purpose to be on earth? And, and, and what is it that you can do to live up to that purpose and calling? Paul, Paul uh, later in this letter says, may you uh, live uh, in a way that is worthy of the calling upon your life. Well, what is that calling? What is your purpose in terms of the church, in terms of the living body of Christ on the earth today? Something to think about. I hope you'll find it helpful to think that through a little bit, not just who you are, but why you are. Let's pray. Gracious God, may we ever plumb the depth of your grace and your love for each and every one of us, that we would go about uh, each day thinking about why you have called us uh, to certain ministries, to contemplate your will for our lives each and every day, to seek that which is necessary for us to be fruitful for your kingdom on earth. We ask that your blessing be with us. Uh, make us aware of the gifts that you've given us. Make us aware of the opportunity to use those gifts. Make us aware of how those gifts can change the world with the love of Christ. May it ever be so in the name of Jesus and through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey friends, you have a great Wednesday and God bless you.